Hello and welcome to the Future Fuel Cafe. In this video, we're gonna be looking at a text to prompt piece of software called Pika Labs, specifically Pika Labs 1.0, which is their massive update. And really it is right now the best text to video generator, AI generator that I think is out there. And building on and carrying on from the last video where I gave a quick overview about what it can do, what you can generate, and just basically how it works. This now is gonna be taking a deeper look at how you can take a basic prompt add stuff to it, add details, and then basically get a better end result, which would be a better AI generated video. And the four main things we're gonna be looking at to build that prompt around are the subject, scene, short description, and the overall style of the video. And the more details we give in each of those categories, the better that the result will get from that prompt, right? So yeah, we're gonna jump straight into Pika Labs. We're gonna start off with the basic prompt and we're gonna look at how we add detail into those four categories and get better results. So without further ado, let's jump straight into my laptop. So straight away now, you will see there is just a city skyline with fireworks going off. And if you look at the bottom, the prompt is very basic, fireworks going off over city. And to be honest, off of a basic prompt like that, you will see it's got really nice colors, a bit of detail, a bit of weird sort of, I don't know what this is meant to be up there, but maybe another skyline or something. A little bit funky, but overall, you can get away with it. I think it's pretty decent, but we can do better. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this, add more meat to the bone effectively, and give it more detail. So what I did is I went from there, used that starting prompt, fireworks going off over a city. I basically said, fireworks going off over lit up city skyline at night. So only a little bit more detail saying, it's specifically at night, the city's lit up, and the, the fireworks are going over it. And you can see here straight away now, more vivid, we've got no more funkiness in the sky because we've effectively said it's going over the skyline, over the city skyline. And again, you can just see overall it's more detailed and I really like what it's done. And the more detail you give any prompt, the better it will be. And right now being able to give the right prompt to sort of anything that runs off of prompts, whether it's a large language model like uh, ChatGPT, Bard, whatever else, you know, Plaud, or stuff that's an image generator like Dali, Leonardo, uh, mid journey as well, obviously, then it gives better results. Going on to this bit now, you can see I've took that and I've added an extra detail again by saying what bright fireworks going off over a lit up city skyline at night, distant wide shot, HDR, high uh, dynamic range, detailed cyberpunk futuristic theme. Now, whether that's made it cyberpunk looking or not, I don't know, but this is what it's actually added. And to be honest, I love the extra detail we've got going on in the city here. Even the fireworks a little bit as well, looks super detailed. And if we go back to the previous image, which is this again, which is really good. You can just tell it looks more lit up, more varied, more colored, the higher contrast in the color as well. And overall, just a very much clearer image, which I think looks really amazing, but again, we can do better still. We've now got a vibrant, bright, distinct colored fireworks going off in a starry night sky over a lit up city skyline, Fuji camera style. I film on Fuji, I'm a big fanboy of Fuji, so I had to, wide shots, high dynamic range, HDR, RGB, which is the red, greens, and blues, just to make the colors even more vibrant again. And what I've then done is highly detailed, a cyberpunk futuristic art style and theme, just to really hammer home those points. So I've said the camera style, even more the colors, what to focus on the RGB, and even make those colors even more distinct as well. And what we've got here, in my opinion, is a super detailed, high contrast, high colored image. And if you look at this now as the finished image, but if we go back to the first video that we quickly use, and in a very short space of time, we've gone from fireworks going off over city, which is this, again, minus that funkiness in the sky, you can get away with it, it looks pretty good. By adding more detail is this, you know, the vibrance focusing on the color, the camera angle, the camera style, what we actually want it to be. And by focusing on those four pillars, which is the subject, the scene, the shot description, and the overall style, we've brought in so much more life to the shot, to the image, and the AI has an easier time 
in my experience of using this so far of creating that better image. And finally, what I did, because I really love the image, we have that ability now to extend it by four seconds. That's what I did. Here, I've just added the four seconds. You can see here, and this is the finished result. And if you watch it from the beginning through to the end, now, you can see this is the original image. Now, all of this is added new, new fireworks, those going off, which look absolutely phenomenal. And I think it's just added an overall really cool four second, you know, you could use this as a short, use it as anything. I even think, again, you could add even more detail to this. You could add an extra four seconds again. And I just really think this is amazing. And I just wanted to make this really short but quick video just to show you how you can build on the prompts, play around with it, take those four pillars and apply it to anything else. But you know, it works. And I tend to really build my prompts for anything where it's generating images, video, or just interacting with like ChatGPT, Bard, whatever it may be, off of those pillars. And I think they're a really good way to start from building your prompt and build off of it. So in this short video, this is what I wanted to show you as I think it's really cool and it will really help you build your skill set and understanding, especially if you're new to prompts, of how to use them and help with your creativity. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below if there's anything else you think I've missed, what you think, if there's anything I could add in extra to the overall prompt to make it even better, what results have you got? But I really hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.